Mark, I know it's one of your passions uh, to to really sort of give yeah. guys stuff to really help them get through yeah. some of these difficulties of the areas of sexuality and, and the stuff that we struggle with, yeah. computers, stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. And I know that it'd be good to actually hear from you what some of the things you'll be uh, talking about at the, the upcoming conference that we've got, sure, Men's sure. Conference. Yeah, Who's the Daddy? Mm. Yeah, it's a good title, I think. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, really want to help guys um, deal with some of the, the loneliness almost they feel in uh, all of this. And one of the real keys is, is um, finding someone that you can be accountable to. Mm. Now, I know when you say that word, mm. accountability, it's like the A word, isn't it? It it's is, like, yeah. Uh, for some of the guys who've been around for a number of years, mm. you know, the, the accountability equals heavy shepherding. Or, yeah. What's your, what's your take on, on accountability? Well, really, I just think we need a friend, you know, problem shared is problem halved and all of that kind of thing. But it is rare that someone can overcome either a growing addiction or an addiction on their own. You know, it's rare you meet anyone because most people aren't disciplined enough to change themselves. But when you make yourself accountable to others, um, it actually helps the process. So how, do you, how would you see that working for, you know, in the church context? Yeah. Because it's like we've got a lot of people, a lot of people we see, you know, and yeah. we can live at this sort of level, can't we? Yeah, we can. Um, uh, I think that the very nature of, um, of getting involved with porn, internet porn and so on, is it draws you in more and more and it becomes more and more of a lonely place and uh, there is a real need to, to seek out help but for this particular blog I'm, um, I just want to talk about making your computer safe you know and I think most people they know about parental controls and all of that kind of thing you'd be amazed Tim how many people when I've talked to them about um, putting controls on their computer how resistant they are and this is actually indicative of the problem is that um, uh, it's more than just a passing fantasy thing that's going on. It's already got the hooks in guys. And there'll be lots of valid reasons. Oh, you know, um, um, if I have it on there, it might stop me viewing a page that I really need to see for my work or whatever. And when you set um, internet safety programs up on your computer, initially, for the first week or two, they are a real nuisance. They keep blocking pages that you do want to see and all of that kind of thing. But honestly, you know, is that really the issue? You know, really the issue is, is that you want to be able, you, you don't want this source of comfort to be cut off. And uh, uh, I personally use a program called Safe Eyes. And that's quite invasive, you know, and you, when you've got a website up, uh, you know, there's usually adverts all around it or something. And uh, it, even, it even blocks the ones with sexy images, you know, all around. <laughs> so you can just go on the website for what, you know, and it's about 90% successful at that. Um, but these are hooks that are out there to just draw you in. And, um, uh, but you'd be amazed how many people, they have safe eyes and, on their computer and uh, they hit a problem where they want to hit, go to a page and they can't go to it because it's mistaking it for something else. And um, uh, so they go to all sorts of extremes to try and get safe eyes off their computer rather than you should really set someone else up with the password to administrate it because the administrator can then look at that page you want to go to and put that on the list of ones that you can you can now access it takes a little bit of work but you'd be amazed you know and um, uh, the excuses that people come up for for these pro parental control type programs not working so therefore we needed to take it off it's like you know, what's the big deal? A bit of inconvenience to train it, uh, and then it'll work fine for 99% of the time. You get the odd problem, and you have to contact the administrator. It might be your wife or the person you're accountable to, who has the password to just make the little changes to make it possible. There's another one called uh, Covenant Eyes, and this one bases on everything on the fact that everything you do on the internet gets reported. To, to <laughs> whoever, you know, maybe your wife or, or the person you're accountable de definitely to. And, um, uh, and they get um, uh, a list of all the stuff that you've been looking at 
and it's it's kind of given a point score, you know, and the high points are, um, are the dodgy ones and the lower points you don't worry too much about. Um, and uh, that is based on fear of being found out, mm -hmm. yeah? And for some people that works. The fear of being found out is enough to, to get control back into someone's life. But I would say that if there's any level of addiction began to creep in, um, that it encourages deceit or um, other things where um, you end up actually, uh, the person ends up um, still going on bad sites with the full knowledge that it will be reported because the, the, the need to meet, and we're going to talk about pain base at some point, because you know, this is all about pain and uh, stuff that needs healing um, and, and, and proper connection with Jesus and, uh, and, and in relationships, it's all about that. But um, the, that pain base, the need to see that kind of comforted is actually is bigger than the fear of being caught. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it does work for some, not for others. Uh, and uh, personally, I use Safe Eyes because it's, uh, you know, it's just a simpler uh, thing program to use. And uh, I don't trust myself 